All right, back in Orbex global range. Um, so we got vector in the base installed. So now what we're gonna do is add the LC uh, North America and see what that does. So we're gonna go ahead and get that downloading and we'll pop back in when that's complete as this is uh, this is not a tiny download either. The last few have been about eight gigs each. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pause it here and check back in once it's done. All right, so it's downloaded and installed. So that is good. I'm gonna go into the control panel and we want the road skirting and the railway skirting. So those are, uh, those are on. Awesome. Now, I can't remember if you're supposed to. Um, for just that. So we probably, yeah, there's no control panel for the libraries. Um, so we're going to go back to Global Vector and we're going to go to... Um, its control panel and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say run the um, uh, the auto config again. So run auto config, click OK. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let that go and we'll check back in once it's done. All right, so now it is complete. We're gonna click OK and we will apply vector changed successfully. Awesome. Get out of that. And let's go ahead and get P3D all fired up again. All right, inside we go. So let's go ahead and get in. We can see we've got a nice high frame rate is showing. Uh, let's make sure that We've got everything on. Do I get the flaps in? And our usual. All right, so skies, everything looks nice. Kind of the way it was looking. that nose down push it over all right there we go let's go ahead and fly her off let's go ahead and get that gear up and we'll clean those flaps up bring the power back. All right. Already we can see a slight change, but we still see the water. Um, but now we don't have roads going kind of across it uh, as much. Um, See the, uh, I guess the theme park over there or something. Got our, uh, our land class area, so. So 58, 64, 60, you know, we're, we're keeping those numbers all in that similar, similar frame. Um, we've got our land class data, we've got our information. Um, and we definitely can see that our performance is, uh, is maintaining. Fifty-three, high forties, into the fifties, same as before. Flying in this direction, 
But now we can see over to the left, it, um, it's definitely got more shape to it, uh, more realistic to what this area of uh, San Diego is like. The roads are better laid out for the major highways, cutting through. Um, so that stuff definitely uh, looks a lot better. Um, kind of the golf coursing and, and the stuff. So that, that definitely um, lays things out a little bit better. Gives us more of the uh, things to look for in a, in a true um, kind of landmark, kind of landmass. Looking for something that I would be uh, using as a set heading point or an aiming point. Uh, definitely creating better um, terrain for, uh, for the flight. Alright, so go ahead and pull our power back. Trim that nose up. And there's our airport. So, let's We're going to do a tight turn Power off, leading the speed, still no flaps. So we didn't uh, manage our altitude as well as I would have liked. Definitely see a little bit of a weird uh, elevation issue there. And go ahead and dump all the flaps. This is over ball turn, definitely over over coordinating, but uh, it'll let us sneak in. All right. Now, go ahead and pull that power all the way back. Forties, fifties. Yeah, we're still smooth, still roughly that similar um, frames per second. All right. So we're going to slow up. 50s, little dips to the 40s, look back in this general direction, and we can see we're in the mid 50s, 58, um, but again, this is, this is kind of what we've, uh, what we've been seeing. All right, well, we're going to cut it there, uh, and we'll come back in the next episode when we are going to figure out... Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to add in um, a couple more of the Orbex uh, global items and then see where we're at. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, come see us when we continue this series in Orbex, trying to figure out what pieces do and don't cause us to have massive frame rates and basically telling us which ones not to buy. Thanks for watching.